Now that we've found the regress plans, we tuned them, it's time to ensure that that specific good plan is always used for your SQL. And this is where SQL plan management comes into play. The idea with SQL plan management is to ensure that only good validated plans are used for your SQLs. So we avoid a situation where a SQL is suddenly regressing due to a worse plan. So how does it work? Your users are connected to the database and they're issuing SQLs. The second time the same SQL is executed, it's called a repeatable SQL. When the parameter optimizer capture SQL plan baselines is set to true, whenever you have a repeatable SQL, SQL plan management will record it. But first, it'll run it through a filter so you can decide whether or not you want to capture that plan. You can provide a filter on this statement or on the schema. The optimizer comes up with a plan. We call it plan A. Because this is the first time that this specific SQL is executed, there is no baseline. So SQL plan management creates one and it adds the plan to the baseline as an accepted plan. Plans are only added to the baseline as accepted when they are the first one. Next execution. Something has changed. The optimizer has come up with a new plan. We call it plan B. What happens? The plan is moved into the plan history. Plan history is a dedicated part of the plan baseline, which contains known plans that have not been validated yet. We don't know if that plan is good or not. So we keep it in the plan history. If you set optimizer use SQL plan baselines to true, SQL plan management will now tell the optimizer, you cannot use this plan. It hasn't been accepted yet. So plan B stays in the plan history. Optimizer discards plan B and uses plan A instead. The plans in your plan history can be enabled or disabled. This is a quick way where you can selectively enable or disable specific plans. A plan can also be an accepted, meaning that we have verified that this is a good plan that performs well. And you can also fix plans. If you fix a plan, it'll take precedence over accepted plans. So this is a way that you can manually assure that one specific plan is used for this SQL. We'll talk about evolving in a little while, but you should know that on plans, you can change the auto purge property from true to false. If you change auto purge to false, a plan will never be purged from the plan baseline, regardless of whether it's used or not. 